Working on the choreography for Tina has been a, a really fascinating journey. The actual iconic Tina choreography, uh, the steps that everyone knows Tina for, uh, are in the show. It was a quite a challenge in the beginning to decide how I, as a choreographer, was going to approach her work and not plagiarise it, but at the same time use the iconic material which everyone knows. We were very fortunate to spend a lot of time with Tina herself, so obviously she's the source, right? So the process of creating the choreography, not only with Anthony but with Tina herself, was really, really special and it's so iconic, a lot of the choreography. We really wanted to do it justice. In her life, in her Ike years, she had no control over anything. She had no control over money, she had no money, she had no control over what she did, she had no control over the music, I did the music. The one thing she did have control over was the choreography. And so when we started working together, I could see she was completely and utterly passionate about the choreography. When we opened in London, she said, ah, the girl's feet, just not moving enough, just not moving enough. On her steps all the time, they're doing like this uh, little paddling step. And then when we opened in Germany, <laughs> she said, well, um, it's better from the knees up. And then when we opened up in New York, she came up to me, squeezed me on the shoulder and she went, that's better. Casting the role of Tina is really tricky. They have to be able to dance. Tina could dance. You know, the very first step of Proud Mary is when they stand there and they go round and round and round and round and round with their arms up in the air. And if you can't do that, you can't be Tina. I can't have a Tina in front of an audience and they go, oh, but she really can't dance. And Tina's known for being an animal. I mean, she was an animal on stage. What I always say to people in dance calls is, I really want to see who you are. I really want to see your personality because that's what the show needs to be about. It needs to be fun and I need to see that on stage. The majority of people that come to see our show, they think they're going to get more of like a tribute show. What they ultimately get is they get the real story. So you learn about Tina, you go through her journey, everything she's been through, and, and then in the end you see, you really see Tina, the performer, and it's all the music which you know and love. It's also a fantastic night out, you know, it really, really is. And I'm not being biased because I'm a part of it, but um, I am, but no. <laughs> um, it just is, it's an incredible night out.